Hello everyone, I am Chase, a Rocky Mountain 8 FMC, giving you a closer look at the Armega Goggle from 100%. All right. Brand new for 2019, we have the Armega goggle from 100%. So 100% has been around for a pretty long time. Definitely one of our best-selling goggles year after year. They have a lot of great colorways to choose from. Something that I've always liked about their goggles is their lenses are all interchangeable for the different frames. But I've been asking the question, when are we gonna see a new goggle from these guys that has a quick release change system? And that's what we're getting here with the Armega, along with a lot of other great features. In fact, this goggle, it's a lot of time in the making, it has seven different patents, they say. So there's a lot of cool features and technology that's built into it. So we're gonna go through and talk about it. Before we do that, let's just talk about fit real quick. So with the Armega, fit for me, I like it. I think it's improved over the previous goggles. I actually wore the Racecraft a little bit. The Racecraft and say the Acuri goggle, to me, they just felt, felt a little bit narrow. So I'm glad to say that with the new Armega, that I think they've widened it just a little bit. So a little bit better fitment when I put these on. But remember goggles, they're an apparel item. So if you buy them, if you're not happy with the size or fit or how they fit in the helmet that you have, you can send them back in brand new unused condition and we give you free shipping both ways on your first exchange. Now right here on the table, you can see a couple different colorways to choose from. This is what we have currently, but do not worry in true 100% fashion, there will be a lot of other great colorways soon to follow. You can have different lens options at different price points. You're starting about 90 bucks. That's gonna be for a standard clear lens. You're an injection molded lens, so optically correct. And then you step up to their hyper lens, which we'll talk about here in just a little bit. And for that, you're gonna be about $120. So for me, I think the price range is actually really fair considering how much that you're getting with this goggle. So let's talk about it. We'll start out with the strap in the back here. So you're gonna get a 48 millimeter strap so they increase the thickness from their previous goggles, which I like to see. So for riders that like a thicker goggle strap, that's what you're getting. You're gonna have silicone that goes all the way around the entire strap. That's gonna help keep the strap in place when you have the goggle on. But next up, you're looking right at it. Let's talk about the face foam. So you're getting a triple layer face foam, which what we see with a lot of different goggles, but there's a very unique feature and something I have not seen in another goggle manufacturer. And right here you can see, on this inside layer, this fleece, you have these perforation holes. So what's cool about these, you've got perforation there, and the reason for that is that when you're wearing a goggle, the frame's pressed up against your face, well, that's gonna force sweat through that face foam, and what happens is that when you're sweating a lot, when it's hot outside, you know, the foam can only absorb so much sweat until you get to that point where it starts to drip inside the goggle. I've had that happen before, I'm sure a lot of you have, it's a pain in the butt. So what 100% has done to remedy that is you'll notice here, you've got that perforation, but up here at the top of the goggle, you can see you actually have this little gutter. So you have this channel that goes all the way across the top and then down the sides. So what they've designed this to do is that when you get enough sweat coming through that foam, it eventually gets to that gutter and then it drains it out the side. So rather than having that sweat drip in your eyes, it goes out the side of the goggles. So I think it's pretty unique. I can't, I'm pretty excited to wear these goggles, go out and really, on a really hot day, sweat a lot in these things, and to see how well that gutter actually works to get that sweat out of there. But it's pretty unique what 100% has come up with there. So that's your face foam. Again, the frame on these is a dual injected frame. It's a very rigid frame, and I know that talking to the guys at 100% when they were designing this goggle, they want to make it as safe as possible. So they want to have a rigid frame but also they wanna make sure that the lens, which we'll talk about more, once it's inside the frame, that it's very secure, that there's little to no risk of that lens actually popping out if you got a rock or something hitting you straight in the goggle. So you're gonna see you've got outriggers on this. I got a set right here to my left installed on this Fox V3. If you're not too familiar with outriggers, the purpose that they serve, well, I will explain it to you. So outriggers, are just designed to give a little bit better fitment when you have the goggle on inside the helmet. So rather than having the goggle strap connected directly to the frame, it's connected to the outrigger, so it's gonna be a little bit farther out, and that way it's not pulling the frame away from the rider's face. You're still getting a good tight fit, but still getting great fitment inside the helmet. So that's what outriggers do. You've got tear-off posts that come on the lens. You'll see your third tear-off post. It can be right here on the left outrigger. I'm a big fan of that. I'm not a huge fan when you have the little clip that just goes on the strap. So your third post is gonna be right here. Now, as far as the lens goes, like I said, injection molded lens, they call their Ultra HD, which means it's optically correct. So which means when you look through it, it's already curved when it goes on the goggle frame, so it's not gonna distort anything as you look through it. Now some riders will ask me, hey, is there a difference, can you see any difference when you look through just a traditional Lexan lens that you curve when you put into a goggle frame versus an injection molded lens? My opinion, yes, you can see a difference. Is it a deal breaker? 
Eh, probably not, but when you put on the two, when you put on an injection molded lens and then you go right to a standard Lexan lens, you will notice how that bent Lexan lens does distort your vision a little bit. So it's something just to be mindful of. But what's cool about this lens, there are six points of contact that hold it onto the frame. So you can see, it's a very rigid frame, not a lot of flex in this thing. And also, what you notice is when I take the top and bottom and I pull on this, you don't see the lens separate from the frame at all. With some other goggles from other manufacturers, when you pull on the top and bottom, you'll actually see pretty good gaps from where that lens is separated from the frame. So in order to make that work, they put some tabs on here to hold it in place. So before I show you those, let's talk about the new quick release system. I'm a big fan, whenever you can change a lens quickly, the better it's gonna be. So what's cool, I'll show you exactly how this works. On each side, you have these little red tabs. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take your two fingers here, pop this tab up, and then you're just gonna do it to the other side. So you pop those two tabs up, and then you take the red tabs, you just kind of fold them back away from the lens. Real easy to do. Now once you have those tabs out of the way, all you're gonna do is I just take my thumb, I put it right on the inside of the lens, right underneath that tear-off post, and just lightly press out. And when you do that, it's gonna, it's gonna help release that lens from the frame. Then you just pull up a little bit, and there you go. So the lens comes out very easily. You saw how quickly I did that. And to put it back in, just do exactly what I showed you, just reverse order. But when you look at the lens, a couple things I wanna show you. So two millimeter thick, again, your injection molded. So you can see it's already pre-curved, optically correct. But on the bottom here, you see you've got these two tabs. And then on the top, you've got this long tab that goes basically all the way across the top. So what these are doing, you've got two at the bottom, one up here in the top, and then the nose piece is also gonna help keep it in place as well. Those are gonna secure the goggle to the frame extremely well, because when I take the frame, and you look at the bottom here, you'll see you've got these little indents. That is where those tabs on the bottom of the lens are gonna connect to, and then when you look at the top here, that lip or that tab at the top I showed you goes right here and inserts right at the top. So all that is gonna help keep that lens in place. So that's why when I pull up and down on this, you're not getting any separation there. And you're combining that with the tabs on the sides that lock it in place, very secure lens. So to put it back in, really simple. Take it and just reverse the order. You're just gonna put that nose guard or that nose piece in place. So drop it in there. Once you've got it where it needs to be, all you're gonna do is just take these red tabs. What they do is they kind of have it in this direction. If you can see what I'm doing here, put your thumbs down and then just press those into place. So there you go, very easy to do. I do wanna point out though that, or point out that with those red tabs, it takes a little bit of force to do it. So if you're putting the lens back in, you're popping those tabs back over, if you feel like you're pressing pretty hard and it's not clicking, don't worry, just keep going, it'll snap back into place, you're not gonna break anything, just though it does take a little bit of force. So to get the lens back in, you saw how quick and easy that is. Down here at the bottom, you've got your nose guard, that is removable, pops out very easily. Also, I've put it back in before, very easy to do. And then with that, I also wanna show you down here at the bottom, they have what they call their forced air intakes. So you can see these are right here. So when it comes to a goggle, you want it to ventilate. That's gonna help combat fogging, help if you do get any dust inside there. So you've got these forced air intakes right down here at the bottom to help get as much airflow inside that goggle as possible. Now, the last couple things I wanna mention. With the lenses, like I mentioned earlier, you've got your standard clear lens, you're gonna have your tinted lenses, and then you're also gonna have their hyper lens. So the hyper lens is gonna be that premium price, so like I said, about 120 bucks, but it's a really cool technology that 100% has with their hyper lens. And what it is, is pretty cool when I was talking to these guys, they explained it to me that when you look through a lens, there's certain colors that your eyes have a hard time seeing that are kind of harsh. So the hyper lens will actually filter out some of those colors that are hard for your eyes to pick up. So it just enhances your vision overall and increases your contrast, it gives you better depth of field or depth perception. So overall, it's just gonna help increase your vision so you can see better what's ahead of you. So it's pretty cool technology that they have with that hyper lens. Now the last thing I do wanna point out that I think you should keep in mind with this goggle, when I put these on for the first time, looking through it, it kind of looked a little hazy, like there's a film or a residue on there. And I think what happens is from the manufacturing process, there is a little bit of a residue on the inside of the lens. So if you put your goggle on for the first time and you look up and it seems like it's kind of cloudy, just take the lens out, clean it off with a microfiber rag, whatever you have, and that way it's not gonna be cloudy when you look through it for the first time. And that is it. That is the all new Armega goggle coming from 100%. Again, a lot of cool technology. The quick release system, I'm a big fan of that. You saw how easy it is to do. You've got the injection molded lens, and when it comes to safety, these are gonna be hard to beat with how well that lens is held into place with the frame. Now you are gonna have a case, or excuse me, a little bag that comes included. I was kind of bummed to see that you don't have any tear-offs that come included when you pick up the goggles. So if you want tear-offs for these to protect your lens, pick up a set of those on our website as you're checking out with your new Armega goggle. 
To get yours, it is real simple. Just click on the link or head over to RockyMountainATVMC.com. Do not forget, orders over 75 bucks ship free. If you guys like this product spotlight, get subscribed, hit that notification button. That way you stay up to date on the latest gear guides, product reviews, and how-to videos that we're constantly filming. I am Chase. We'll see you on the trails.